Bill, I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage finally, and welcome the 2023 BMW M1000R is finally up on the lift. It's been a long time since I've been in the garage doing a video for you guys, so I'm happy to be back. And uh, well, stay tuned because we are gonna be in the garage quite a bit because we have parts coming for this bike. Uh, and if you guys are interested in building uh, an S1000R or an M1000R, stay tuned because we got a lot of stuff coming. But today, today's video, we are going to be replacing the brake pads with the WRP Sinster uh, Track Day brake pads. Now, the brake pads on this thing is fine for normal, typical riding. You guys know that I ride on the track and well, I really like brakes. I get people on the brakes at the very end. So um, I want some good brake pads. And like I said, these aren't horrible for, this, for the street, but we wanna get some track uh, brake pads. The S1000R has them. I love the brakes on the S1000R. Like the master and everything is great. And this is only better. So let's go ahead and uh, get these brake pads swapped out. We're gonna walk you step by step, everything you need and everything you'll need to do to swap your brake pads. Listen, if you guys have never done a brake pad job, this is the easiest job you will ever do. So let's uh, get the chesty cam on and let's walk you through everything you're gonna need and everything it's gonna take to change out these brake pads. All right, so let's first start with everything you're gonna need. Now remember, you're saving hundreds on a brake job, okay? So buy a couple tools and put these away for later, okay? So first of all, let's get some rags, get some gloves if you want. Uh, make sure when you buy your pads, they only sell them in one side. So you have to always order two, okay? That's also why they're kind of expensive. These are about $75 per side, okay? So you're at $150 for the pair. Uh, on the M1000R brakes, you're going to need uh, a 50 millimeter uh, star, and I would recommend getting a nice little cleaner brush. These are little detail brushes. You can get them off Amazon. Some degreaser, some brake clean, and Please, go on Amazon, I will link this down below. This is what they call a brake spreader. We're gonna use it for two functions. We're gonna use it to keep the uh, calipers from, from popping out, the pistons popping out. So we're gonna take the brake pads out, you'll see how we use it. And then we're also gonna use it to spread the pistons back into the caliper so that uh, we can put the new brake pads on. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and grab our 50 millimeter. And so this side, we're gonna walk through real slow, okay? So we're just gonna remove these bolts here. So crack them loose and crack it loose and go ahead and remove both bolts. All right, with both bolts removed, carefully watch your wheel, grab the rotor and or the caliper and pull it off the rotor. And uh, now you're gonna see, we've got brand new brake pads, so we're gonna pop these out. Now, unfortunately, we do have to push the pistons in a little bit. Now, there's two ways you can do it. If you're, if you, please understand, this is only if you're not using the brake pads. You can push this in and kind of push them back out. I also have this little brake spreader thing, which actually works better because you can actually just kind of push it back and forth, which is going to push the pistons back into uh, the caliper. And then what you can do is now you've got enough room to slide one of the brakes out. And once you've got one out, we can grab the other one, slide the other one over just to the middle and pop this one out. Okay, and so now we've got our brake pads are off. And what we're gonna do is we wanna clean the pistons on the caliper. And that's where this is really gonna come in handy because what we can do is we're gonna set this in here and we'll go ahead and widen it for now. Make sure that we've got it all set up real nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to slowly pull the brake lever and get this thing, these pistons, to go inwards. So just keep pumping these, pumping these uh, um, pistons, and then they'll end up all lining back up. So we're gonna keep going in and in and in, but we don't want to lose our footing of where this is sitting, okay? So we're just gonna do this, and um, I'll explain this here in a second, why we're doing this, okay? 
Um, so once we've done that, you can see our pistons are pushed out further than they were before. And what we wanna do is we wanna be cleaning all this brake dust. Now, there's not much here. The bike only has a couple hundred miles on it. So what we're gonna first do is gonna grab a towel and we're gonna wrap the back of the caliper so nothing gets through. We're gonna spray a little bit of degreaser on here and we're gonna take our detail brush and we're gonna get in here and we're gonna go ahead and use the degreaser to clean these pistons and calipers, okay? This is super important and while you're here, make sure, make it all pretty, make it all nice and clean, okay? Get the top part cleaned up, get in there and hit the top parts of the pistons and you're just gonna basically be cleaning the pistons and the calipers. All right, once you're clean, go ahead and spray it off with a little bit of brake clean. And this is just gonna take any of this soap residual off. Make sure you wrapped it so it doesn't spray all over the place. Um, but go ahead and get these calipers nice and clean. Pistons nice and clean. Maybe give the pistons another spray real quick. Make sure everything is off of there. And give them a few minutes to dry. And then we're gonna come back in and push the pistons back in. You can see how much cleaner they are. See how they had those marks in them? So we're gonna make sure that they're nice and clean. That way they don't get hung up on anything um, and cause any uh, weird breaking. See, if one side uh, doesn't uh, push in as much as the other side, you're gonna get pull to one side or the other. You can also get some, uh, some brake shake and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you get these cleaned up every single brake job that you do, clean the pistons on your caliper. All right, now that our uh, piston and calipers are all dry, we're gonna go ahead and let's loosen this just a tad and get this to slide right back in. And then this is where everything just comes together because you can slowly twist this and we're gonna be pushing the calipers back in. So it's gonna do one side, then it'll do the other side. And once we're back in and fully in, make sure that we're not hitting the back there. There we go. And voila. Now you've got plenty of room to put the brakes in. Now you'll notice that I never mess with these, um, these tabs in the back. They can stay in actually, I think they might be permanently in. I'm not gonna mess with them because we don't need to take them out. Um, all right, our brake pads, obviously, I'm just gonna say this because I've seen people do that before, which is horrible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this in and get it to pop into its little uh, it's a little spring at the end. All right, so it takes a little finagling to get it uh, into the spring. But once you get it into the spring, grab your other one. And again, uh, I started from the top and I pushed the top spring down first and then the bottom. And there we go, just like that. So what you can do is you can grab, if you've got your little spreader, just go ahead and push the bottoms of them so they're nice and uh, seated in. And there you go. And the pistons are in, so when you take it and you slide it onto the rotor carefully around the wheel, you're gonna see that there's a lot of room left, right? Go ahead and grab your bolts and start threading your bolts through, but we're not gonna tighten these bolts quite yet. Okay, with that done, we have not tightened these all the way. We're going to wait to tighten these until we get the brakes um, completely done, and then we're gonna pull the brakes and we're gonna tighten them when the brakes are pulled, that way they're centered. So you're all done here, let's head over to the other side. We've got everything over here. And uh, for this side, what I'm gonna simply do is I'm just gonna go through this real quick and do a time lapse. This should really only be taking you a couple minutes to do. I mean, literally, like maybe 10 minutes per side. If you've never done brakes before, it should take you about 10 minutes per side. So let's go ahead and start and uh, let's do a little time lapse and let's actually see how long it's gonna take me.
that's it. Uh, five minutes, maybe, max. So you can see we're just uh, hand tighten these down just tight enough that they're tight. And what we want to do is we want to uh, go ahead and grab the brake lever and we're going to pump this brake lever until it gets hard. OK, that means the brakes have seated in. And uh, this will be something that if you've got uh, an extra hand, uh, someone can help you with this or grab a zip tie, which is what I'm going to do. And we're going to pull this tight, leave it tight. And while it's tight, then you're going to tighten the caliper bolts. That, may, that way the caliper is uh, centered with the rotor. We know that it's centered with the rotor. So make sure you always pull the brake lever first, then tighten those bolts. All right, and once you're ready to tighten them down, grab your torque wrench, make sure you torque them down correctly. 38 Newton meters or 28 foot pounds of torque. So you're gonna go ahead and get this in and you're going to go ahead and tighten it just till the torque wrench clicks. And this one. And onto the other side. All right, and once you've torqued it and you've, you've confirmed. And just like that, we have new brakes on the all new M1000R. Now again, let me emphasize, I did these brakes it's so early just because I know I'm going to the track soon and I want to get a little bit better brake pad. Uh, these aren't bad uh, pads. They're made by Nissan, the Nissan calipers. So they're not bad pads for most people. But if you're going to the track, invest in some good brake pads. Um, I highly recommend it. But uh, here you go. Uh, let's get out and um, I'm going to walk you guys through bedding in your brakes. And uh, that'll be our, our ride here after this. So uh, stay tuned, but uh, let's get on the bike and let's go bed the brakes in and uh, get you guys an outro to the video. All right, guys, well, we're off to bed in the brakes. Now, uh, bedding in the brakes really just consists of a heavy, couple heavy braking sessions. So I'm using the rear brake right now because we don't want to use the front brake quite yet. So we're going to get on a nice little road that's a little bit open so we can get up to a decent speed, 50 miles an hour or so. And what we wanna do is we really wanna get on the brakes really hard. We don't wanna lock them up. We don't want the ABS to kick on. We don't need any of that. We just wanna get a good couple brakes to bed in the brakes. Basically what's happening is there's like a combination of the brake pads and the brake rotors sinking together and just taking the top layer of the brake pad off. So uh, you're basically not glazing over the pads. When you glaze over the pads, basically what that is, is it's just basically there's, it doesn't feel like there's much brakes. And you can deglaze them by doing really extreme braking, you know, big miles an hour plus, um, plus heavy, heavy braking can usually deglaze the brakes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out here and we're gonna get up to, I don't know, 35 miles an hour. <laughs> and we're just gonna get a good brake. Okay, get back up and a good brake. And you're gonna feel the brakes like immediately start to feel better. And you're gonna do this a couple times, okay? And you just wanna, like I said, you just wanna get the brakes bed in. And that's it. Do it four or five times, however times you feel comfortable that you feel the brakes. I can already feel the brake difference already. And so we'll get up to the stop sign. And we'll do the last one. And that's basically it. That's bedding in your brakes, you guys. So, well, hopefully this was a good, quick educational. Like I said, um, I don't know necessarily if the uh, calipers are the same. I think these are, M, these are M calipers. So for 23, I believe that they're correct calipers. They're the, uh, the M1000RR calipers. I think the 23 got them, uh, but the 22 has different. So. Uh, it really doesn't matter, so to speak. But uh, basically, if you just follow the directions of what I gave you, you should be able to replace your uh, brake pads within uh, 20, 30 minutes max. Uh, if you guys are seasoned and you know what you're doing, you guys have never tackled it, should be able to do it in 10, 15 minutes. So it's, it's fairly easy to do. So And keep up on them because you don't want those things to get down. And once they start getting down, then the, the calipers start, the pistons start coming in and out and in different directions. So, um, yeah. 
So that's it. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Do the normal. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And then ring the bell notification. Bell notification is going to give you future notification of future content. We're heading out. Lake Berryessa is open. We're heading out for a bonus ride. Lake Hennessy. First time I've ridden Lake Hennessy in maybe six months. So um, like really ridden it. So uh, and then we've got the Red Limiter coming off this weekend. So stay tuned because we just got we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get topped off in fuel. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.